Hello. This is a quick follow-up to my Audio-Technica AT3600L review. The frequency response not too bad, but it's a rise uh, centered around 13-14 kHz, we can see it here, and it's about, what, 3.5-4 dB. So let's have a look at what effect changes in loading will have on the frequency response. Again, I'm just using a couple of these cheap split cables here. So it just connects like this, connect this end into the phono input. And then I take from record player connected here. And then on the second input here, I add a small plug with whatever load I want to test. So really, really very simple way of doing it. And if you're concerned about harm or noise getting in here, you could just make this a little bit more compact and you can screw the shield on here again. Uh, but really, what's exposed here is no more than the small cables going from your phono cartridge to your arm. So really, it shouldn't pick up any noise. And remember, just this cable in itself, it adds about 30 picofarad to the load. A reasonable rule of thumb with phono cables is that for each meter of phono cable you add, it's about 100 picofarad. So keep that in mind and keep your cable short unless you want to add more capacitance. Alternatively, we could build a small load box and just add a couple of these uh, rotary switches here, one for resistance and one for capacitance. Uh, put it in a small metal box, make sure it's shielded, and then connect it to the ground over here so everything is shielded and make sure the cables are very short. So that's probably a future project. Anyway, let's get back to the AT3600 loading. Here's the first result with a 200 kilo ohm resistor in parallel with the existing 47 kilo ohm and 150 picofarad plus the 30 picofarad in the cable. So that gives us 38 kilo ohm in parallel with 180 picofarad. So this is already quite an improvement. Now our bump here is probably down to one and a half, two dB. So let's try lower the resistance even further and see what happens. And here we have with 100 kilo ohm in parallel with the existing 47 kilo ohm. So now we've achieved almost flat frequency response. However, it does roll off a little bit early, but that is part of the compromise. And just to take it a step further, here is a 50 kilo ohm in parallel with the existing 47 kilo ohm. So giving us 24 kilo ohm. Uh, we can see that's a little bit too much. Well, I mean, you might consider this if you have a system and you feel it sounding a little bit too bright, or maybe some records sound a little bit too bright, then this might work. But general for flat response, it's a little bit too much. And just to have a look at what the added capacitance would do to this phono cartridge, so here we have 200 kilo ohm plus 220 picofarad uh, together with the existing load, so 38 kilo ohm and 400 picofarad total. But that's much worse. That's probably worse than where we started from. So that doesn't look like a good idea to try that. And here we have with 100 kilo ohm in parallel and 220 picofarad. Uh, but still, uh, this doesn't look very good. It pretty much looks like where we started from. So uh, I do not recommend adding capacitance on this phono cartridge. So if you have a phono amplifier with high capacitance, you might want to take a look at that. Many phono amplifiers, they come with 100 picofarad built-in capacitance, and then you have cable capacitance. So I know my cable is about 130 picofarad, and my phono amplifier is about 20 picofarad. But if you have a phono amplifier with high capacitance, that might give you even more of a peak up here than what I showed in the original measurement. So I would say this is probably the best compromise, 100 kilo ohm in parallel with the existing 47 kilo ohm. And that gives a fairly flat response. Rolls off a little bit early, but it's probably not going to have any effect. But again, if you have a phone amplifier with a bit higher capacitance, you might want to go lower than 100 kilo ohm. Maybe try something like 68 kilo ohm in parallel with the 47 kilo ohm. Anyway, that's it for this little follow-up. So I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching and then I'll see you next time. Bye bye.